Hey, I thought I'd give you an update of uh, what's going on with the trailer now. Uh, the winter months are pretty much over, I hope, and spring is now upon us. So, let me show you uh, where we're at uh, during the spring uh, or the winter time, and, uh, and then we'll get rolling. So, through the winter, I had taken measurements for uh, all my cushions for my foam and I purchased the foam cushions and uh, tomorrow I'm gonna take it down and get them upholstered so let me show you what I have and uh, where I'm at in my stage and what I'm gonna do next and we're gonna be picking up pretty soon and uh, continue on so this is a uh, this is pretty cool because we're pretty close to being uh, almost finished with the inside as far as the building goes and uh, then we'll start working on the outside and hopefully mm, sometime in the middle of the year here get some metal on this thing and have it outside and begin to look like something <laughs> anyway so let me show you what we have um, I decided to go ahead and keep the cabinets the uh, natural color and I did show you uh, the neat little handles that I have that I'll be putting on all my cabinets and I think it's going to give a nice nice contrast and what I plan on doing is making a jig and being able to place up on the cabinets and be able to pre-drill all my holes so they'll all be in the same spot on every cabinet so it'll look pretty pretty uniform and uh, like I knew what I was doing so let me give you a shot of my cushions and uh, tell you a little bit about it. So I purchased all the cushions online. I had them pre-cut, measured to uh, the exact dimensions that I wanted, and they fit extremely well, except for the uh, back cushions here on the front. Because of the slope of the trailer, I'm going to have to... Uh, probably notch off the corners on each side and that's what I'm gonna do here in a little bit I've got a piece of cardboard I'm gonna make a template out of and uh, notch those corners before I take them to the upholstery shop tomorrow and have the material put on the material that I purchased is five inches in thickness and let me tell you that when you do purchase your cushion material that you want to get the best that your money can buy. Uh, your back and butt is going to thank you later. Um, trust me. The last project that I built was a teardrop trailer. I purchased uh, some camper foam at a nearby Fred Meyer. Three inch foam and I ended up having to put three layers of foam on the uh, plywood flooring and then a couple of layers of uh, comfort com um, comfort spreads bed spreads whatever you want to call them comforters and I still I was bottoming out uh, during the night and trying to sleep and still woke up with a nice backache this material is very very nice I bought the highest quality that I could find and um, it is 2.8 pounds per cubic foot density with what they call a 50 ID which means that uh, they either use a 12 inch square or a 24 inch square and they apply pressure and they see how much weight it takes to push the foam down one inch and uh, that's the top of the line cushion I could find. So for eight pieces, I've got one, two, three, four, two backs and two bottoms up front. Uh, it was a total of $315. And for the price, um, I think it was worth it for the comfort that I am going to get. And if you sit on these cushions, you're going to understand why. Trust me, <laughs> you're going to want the best cushions you can find. So... Uh, I'll give you a shot of me sitting on this thing and uh, tell you a little bit more about it. Oh yeah. Ugh. 
Now, I'm a fairly good sized guy. Uh, currently I weigh about 230 pounds and dropping a little weight. Uh, to make sure that I sleep comfortable, the past about two and a half weeks I dropped about 15 pounds that I want to drop some more. But uh, as I sit on this cushion, I'm not bottoming out. Matter of fact, I probably still have about two and a half, almost three inches to spare before, <clears throat> before I even hit plywood. Oh, I can't tell you how comfortable this feels. And... Uh, once it's all spread out and the upholstery is on, um, I may call this the new home and sleep out here instead of my bed. <laughs> but uh, this is very, very comfortable foaming. And uh, I'll put a link below where I purchased the foam online. And it was very simple to order. So as long as you know your dimensions that you want, they have several options of the thickness of foam, the type of foam. Um, you plug in your dimensions and it'll give you a price and they ship it to your house within about five days. So I was pleased with the purchase. I knew that the cost of making these cushions were going to be uh, pretty high. The material that I bought, let me show you. I'm going to go with a uh, sort of a gray material. This is just a little bit of a swatch. And I don't know how well you can see it. Um, but it's going to go good with the color scheme that I have. So the walls are sort of like a, well, it's supposed to have been a kind of a smoke gray, but it turned out more of a lavender, which uh, I actually like. It's uh, pretty, pretty cozy. The... Uh, Cabinets are a little bit uh, darker, which almost like a bluish haze, but a darker gray, I guess. And the contrast with the cabinets as far as being uh, a natural wood, um, I think with this material laying on top of the foam is going to be... Uh, it's going to be pleasing to the eye, so when you walk in, it's not going to be an eyesore. You know, I'm not going to have red material or some floral design in contrast with all the uh, other colors that I've got going on. And when I purchase the uh, material, there is a store, an RV surplus store that I visit occasionally in Portland, Oregon, and I purchased <laughs> a heck of a lot more material than I needed. Uh, materials five bucks a yard and I bought 20 yards and I think it's only going to take about 10 yards to do all my cushions so I bought twice as much as I need but that's going to leave a little bit extra that I can probably uh, have a at least eight pillows you know a couple on each side that I can have made and uh, make it feel real comfortable in here so the next time you see this video, by then I'll have the cushions made. They'll be back and they'll be in place, and you're gonna you're gonna see quite a difference. But let me give you a shot of the material against the foam and against the uh, the color schemes that I have, and I think uh, well I hope you agree that it's a good choice. Um, my next my next step when the uh, cushions are getting upholstered is I'm probably going to remove all the cabinetry doors and I have a, a uh, aerosol polyurethane spray that I'm going to seal all the cabinet doors with before I put on the handles and uh, it's sort of a satin look so it uh, will have just a little bit of a shine to it and with the handles being put on, I think this thing's going to look really nice. So, my first thought was I was going to use a stain. And uh, I thought that if I'd stain it kind of a dark color, reddish dark, this is a red walnut, that it would look good in here. And with the contrast with the, the blues and the lavenders, um, I really thought it would be too dark. And so the, 
the cabinets being kind of a clear uh, wood grain actually gives it a little brightness so instead of getting everything darker and the cushions going darker and uh, making it feel like a dungeon or a cave I decided to go ahead and keep everything the doors natural um, use the gray on the cushions and I think that's gonna work just fine so let me give you one more shot of the cushions give you a color uh, the, the uh, shot of the swatch that I have here and then I'm gonna go ahead and make my pattern so I can get my cushions either marked off or cut and I'll probably leave that up to the upholstery shop to go ahead and cut I have a bandsaw but um, yeah I probably leave that up to the upholstery shop I don't want to make any jagged edges or have the bandsaw kind of pull on the uh, foam and rip it up uh, after all I did spend over 300 bucks for the stuff the material like I said was a hundred bucks and the gal that's going to do my upholstery is going to charge me three hundred dollars so seven hundred dollars to do the cushions all my cushions get them upholstery and uh, have zippers installed so I'll be able to take the foam out and replace if I ever have to which I don't think I I don't think I will this stuff is supposed to last about 16 years um, which is probably longer than I'll have this trailer uh, I think once it's finished uh, it might go up on the on the sale block and uh, hopefully it sells and I can begin my next project which like I told you as you're working on a project you're always constantly thinking of, of the next project so when you're working on a project in your mind it's already finished and so that's what you're working towards is getting finished uh, and for me I want to get it finished so I can begin the next project uh, that's what I do anyway let me give you a couple shots we'll call this video good and uh, stay tuned because we have more video to to make we've got some uh, tables that we want to get made uh, we've got to laminate the top of the counter and get it installed and put handles on all of our cabinetry and make this thing start to look like uh, like something you know that's usable so hang in there thanks for watching thanks for all the likes thanks for those who subscribe and uh, share share the videos as much as you can I've already had uh, three or four people ask for uh, drawings or schematics of of the trailer that I use to build it and uh, I don't, I'm not charging anything for that it, they're not much and uh, anyway if you would like to to have some pictures or drawings of what I've got so far let me know uh, email me private message through YouTube whatever and uh, I'll get them to you as quick as I can so in the meantime if you haven't already uh, like the videos that lets me know at least I'm heading in the right direction and uh, I, I don't I thought I'd have more people looking at the videos than 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 what's out there but maybe they just haven't got that far yet that's okay and uh, subscribe so anyway I'll give you some shots thanks for hanging in there hopefully you can see the color it is a uh, deeper gray and I think it's going to look pretty nice uh, against the uh, against the color of the walls especially up against the uh, side walls I think the color is just going to be just be grand and also against uh, you know with the natural wood grain it's going to look really nice let me know what you think um, so far very comfortable cushions check out the website plan ahead make your order replace your cushions make new cushions whatever it is you're gonna do and uh, just get it done you're gonna be glad that you did 
Hey, thanks for watching.